Hey there, here's Linda from Half Lives and you're on Youth Music. During the recording process of the upcoming album that is going to be released, we noticed that our sound changed a lot and with it we changed a lot during this last year. We grew up both as human beings and both as musicians as well. So we took all these things and putting them all together, we decided that was the right time to actually change completely and leave the over and what was done with them on our back and take a new direction with the half lives. So we took all these strong reasons, which to us, they were really strong, um, to change name and became something new both for the sounds, which is quite different compared to what the over wear, and both for image and, I don't know, sensations, I guess. <laughs> we came up with the name Half-Lives, which has a strong meaning. Mm, once I was talking with a person who told me that ha life is half without love. And during the days when we were deciding the new name, I came up again with this conversation that I had. I told to the guys the name that I was thinking about, which was Half Lives. They all like it, liked it, they liked the meaning, so we went through it. Our main influences, especially for this last album, uh, are 30 Seconds to Mars, since always and forever. <laughs> We even made a cover of them, of the kill, back when we had name over. Uh, Bring Me the Horizon, uh, their latest record, That's a Spirit, really inspired us and I guess even other one billion bands on this planet because it was really a good record. Uh, Sleeping with Sirens and Paris, uh, they're really cool. The response of Mayday actually was really good. We've been really surprised about how it went. I mean, fans react really well to the change of sound and nothing I really hope that they will really like what we're going to release next. Actually, Mayday was a, the best song that could link what the overwear and what the half-lives are. So it's the best bridge between the two period that we've been through so yes it's been you know quite a big response actually no welcome to the black parade it's our i guess of all five of us favorite track of the album and we all thought about doing this one uh even because i guess it's the strongest single of that album that I did and we thought to rearrange it in our personal way which is in this case an acoustic version. I recall that we recorded this one during the summer and after a few days that we finished the recording session uh, Rock Sound announced that they, will, they would have released the whole compilation of the album so we were like really? But yeah we're not on the compilation but we released it anyway in the days before the anniversary of the Black Day. We don't know exactly yet when it's going to be released, but it should be latest spring 2017 and we really can't wait. A label that I really like is Fearless. They release many bands that I'm a fan of and I see them as a really active label that you know do things for their bands, so why not them? My dream tour would be a kind of European version of the Warp Tour, which doesn't exist, but would be really cool if one day they will make it, do it. And um, would be nice to, if in there, there will be both uh, underground bands and already confirmed bands. Uh, would be pretty rad, so why not? I hope one day they will make it. Our producer is called Francesco Catitti, he's Italian, you can hear it by the name, like us. 
And yeah, he produced, mixed and mastered the whole record, both this one that is about to be released and both the other. So yeah, it's always him, we like him and we like to work with him. There's Enrico, who is a really sporty guy, he's a lot into the sport thing, so he practices Aikido, he really likes that. Uh, me, I like to paint, I take some photos from time to time. And there's the other guitar, guitar player, Matt, who is a really a lot into the country life and he drives tractor, he's obsessed with that, I don't know why. We are leaving next week for a weekender in France and Switzerland and we really can't wait to be on the road again, even because it's been quite some time since the name change and everything, so yeah, we can't wait. We are really psyched about everything we are doing right now, like videos and all the album that is ready to, you know, come out. And we really can't wait to share it with you guys. So yeah, I hope you will keep on following us and you will give us your opinion as soon as, as you will hear and see what we're working at. Thank you.